Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, it's the Katsukan haul. So, um, I'm gonna kinda do this in groups. I spent so much money at Katsukan and I really didn't think I was going to. Just because um, most of the time nowadays I can just do box splits and like I can order things online. Um, so I wasn't expecting to buy as much as I did, but there were certain things that I was expecting to find, and then there were things that I wasn't expecting to find, and that I did find, so I'm real excited about it. Um, so without further ado, let's get into this, and the first thing that I'm going to show you are the things that I bought in the Artist Alley. Now I didn't get that much from the Artist Alley, there weren't that many prints that I was interested in. Um, because as you guys know, I tend to buy Magical Girl prints and there weren't any real Magical Girl prints that I really, really wanted. Um, I'm trying to limit how many like Sailor Moon prints that I can buy because uh, a lot of people do Sailor Moon prints, um, but I don't need that many and there's so many other Magical Girl series that just need love and attention that I just don't want to dedicate a wall to Sailor Moon. But, uh, I did buy two shirts, um, I have one with me and one is going to be mailed to me. Um, if I can find it online I will insert a picture of it, but it's, uh, it's a pink shirt. It says Magical Girl on it, but it's like a nutritional fact shirt. Um, it's really cute, I can't wait to get it. Uh, the artist said that they're from California and they didn't bring their whole stock with us, uh, with them. So I basically ordered it and then they're going to ship it to me for free. So, but I did get another shirt that is pink and it is this one. Um, I believe the artist is, oh gosh, Mini Van Van, I think. I didn't take one of their cards. I don't actually remember if they had cards. Um, I'm very bad at that, but it's basically this little like bat person of an indeterminate gender, could be non-binary, that's fine, but it says dead on the inside, but it's like this bat person, and I really thought it was cute, and I don't know, I'm just really excited to wear it, um, I did get it in a size XL, um, just because to be safe, and plus they said that they weren't sure if they had larges with them anymore, um, so they let me, like, just try to, a view of the extra large and I know an extra large would fit me um, larges are a little touch and go she did say that this is um, cotton so it'll probably shrink a little bit it's not like pre shrunk cotton so I'm hoping that it'll shrink just enough where it'll fit me better um, I haven't actually tried it on yet but I just thought it was really cute um, and I, I really wanted to get more shirts from the artist alley so I'm glad that I did end up getting two shirts even though there were there were a lot of booths that were selling shirts there. So moving on to charms, I only got three charms. Um, they're all from the same artist. They had a deal where if you got three charms, they were like $10 a piece versus $12. Um, but one of them I got is of course Akko um, from Bang Dream. All of my charms are from Bang Dream um, and it, they're all double sided. So it's her band outfit and then her normal street outfit, which is cute. And I love my girl. She, it, this was like the only artist in the Artist Alley that had Bang Dream merch. Um, they had a, a print of Roselia, Afterglow, and he Hello Happy World. But I decided against buying one of those prints, mainly because I want to keep my room to the more strict magical girl, probably a little bit idly. Uh, look but um, Roselia doesn't exactly fit that but I kind of wish I had bought it but Akko was also, uh, Akko was also very small in the print so I was like but my girl so I did get Akko um, this one is mine I did buy two others and they're still in their package because they're not for me um, the, these are for my friend Emily um, who you guys have never seen before I have two friends named Emily <laughs> Um, but her best girl is Saya, and she also really loves Canon, and I was just like, okay, I really wanted to get Saya for her, um, and I knew how much she also loved Canon, so I was like, why not? Um, but they are double-sided, and Canon has that little face, like, oh no, the fue face. And then Saya is winking, and they're both in their band outfits, so. 
I just thought they were really cute and I can't wait to send it to my friend M as like a very belated Christmas present because I am a terrible person when it comes to actually sending Christmas presents out on time. Okay, so the next stuff that I'm going to show you is all from the dealer's room. Um, so, Retro Psycho was there and I have seen their booth one other time ever in my life. Um, and that was at ASEN 2017. Um, but they have OnStars merch and I got these two. <laughs> I am not into OnStars anymore. Uh, but I, I still love two boys very much, and I just love that this has a chicken or a rooster because it was pro it was from like the year of the rooster collab or something like that. But the the chicken has uh, glasses, and I I love it. And then I got this Ray pin. It it's actually pretty heavy, um, but it's an actual pin. But it's the uh, it's not the Dead Man's event, but it's the first time that you find out about Dead Man's. So. But it's from the second anniversary. It, it's the the first, basically, like saying goodbye to the third year's event that happened in the game. Um, but yeah, I was digging through, and they had so much Ray merch. And the first time I ever saw them, they had like a ton of Kato stuff, and they didn't have like this was. I found this on Sunday, and like I struggled to find Kato merch. And I, I really wanted to buy more, but I was just also like, I have like a pretty full Ida bag, um, and I'm not super into this, but I know that the anime is coming out, and I know I'm going to fall back into this hell. Um, but I really still, I do love OnStar still, but I just can't justify buying other things, but I still wanted to help rep my boys. Especially these two. I just love them so much. They're good boys. Other things that I got from Retro Psycho. Uh, I got this um, Yohane charm. She's actually pretty big. I haven't seen this one before. But she's brand new in the package. She's super cute. I really like her. Um, and I can't wait to add her to my Ida bag. I actually have to redo my Yohane Ida bag. I have to change out the, the chain in there. Because the chain isn't strong enough to support it so I will probably be doing another eat a bag video for Johanne. And then the other thing I got is again for my friend M. Uh, they had these little straps like phone straps like you can put them on their wrist but they had Saya. Um, I was surprised that they didn't have like any Bang Dream merch. They barely had any. They only had Pop and Party and they did have the pen light for Roselia but it was like $70 and I was like I can't justify spending $70 on a pen light. Um, but even if I wanted it, um, it was cheaper than trying to get it through the Azolan Pictures when they were first doing that, but it's also $70 on a pen light. <laughs> so, but I did get Saya for her because I know she doesn't have that much Saya merch and I told her that I would and she was like, well, I'll pay for something and I was like, no, it's all a present. And that's all I got from Retro Psycho. Oh no, I did get one other thing, but it's something that I'm going to show later. Um, some other idly things that I got. I got this Yohane charm from the second Halloween set. Uh, I just like it. Halloween is my favorite holiday. I love Yohane's outfits and all of the uh, Halloween events or Halloween cards. So I'm really happy to have this. And I also have this SSR. I specifically scouted for it and I got it. Um, that was not an actual recorded video, but I got lucky. I got her on my first pull. The other thing I got was another Saya thing for my friend M. Um, this is actually like an acrylic stand, which I debated about getting, and I'd seen this booth before. They go to Necrocon, and they had an Akko one, and I kind of regret not buying it just because I didn't have that much Akko merch, but I was also like, I only want charms and keychains. Um, but they didn't have Akko anymore, and they only had Pop and Party, so I got Saya. For M. On to bigger things. Um, I spent a decent amount of money at another booth that I don't know the name of, um, but I got Magical Girl stuff. So these this comes from two different booths. Uh, the first one is just like a generic plush booth. Uh, I'm sure they has a name, but I don't know it. But I got <laughs> this big old Mokona. 
Um, I saw it at NecoCon and I went back on Sunday to go get it and they were all sold out so I regret not getting it when I first saw it but I've been wanting a Mokuna since I've started Magic Knight Re Earth. Um, I've also seen Tsubasa Chronicles and I've also read all of the manga so I do know that Mokuna is in there but I especially know Mokuna from Magic Knight Re Earth and this is a specific one from Magic Knight Re Earth so it's just a really big plush. It sits on my shelf. It is huge. It's probably too big for the shelf, but that's fine. <laughs> I love it. It's like actual size Mokuma, so it's fine. But there is a booth that goes to KatsuCon typically every year um, that I've seen so far, um, but they sell pre-cure stuff. So I got a doll of Cure Amour, um, and she was probably a little bit more expensive than I would have liked to have spent on her, but it is a doll of Precure and um, I collect dolls. She will stay in her box. I got so excited because I didn't notice, but she has the twin love guitar in there. <sighs> I love Kira Moore so much. I really want to cosplay her, but I really want somebody to be machete. So, um, but it's just a doll, um, just a little fashion doll, and you can get the other cures from Hugso. Hugso was definitely not my favorite by the end of the series. Um, I, there, there's just a lot of things that went really weird with that show that was focused on motherhood and it just rubbed me the wrong way. Um, they kind of forgot about like the whole girl can do anything but motherhood is number one type deal. Um, it also really implied that the, the bad guy was like psychologically torturing um, Kana and like they get together and have a child together and I was just like this is gross and creepy please don't. Also he's like 20 and she's 13 that's also really gross. Don't do that. But um, Kira Moore, uh, I love her. She's good. She's a robot. I love robots. But going along with Kira Moore, I got the Toy Love guitar. <laughs> Please admire how small this thing is. It's so small. And I have I have Kira Moore's uh, Mirai Crystal in there. Um, it does make noise. I have turned it on. I have played with it. Uh, the strings here move. This moves. And then there's a button on the top. I haven't quite figured out how to play with it. Um, I don't know like when the beats are to, to actually like strum the guitar and all that and like what this is for because I don't actually remember them playing with this part. It's cute. It doesn't do as much as I was hoping it would. I was hoping that this would like light up or something but it doesn't um, which is fine. I was just like the price they had it for wasn't that bad. Um, it was probably only like $10 more than I would have spent if I bought it online. So $10 to get this right now versus like trying to order it online and then waiting a month for it. I, w I wasn't disappointed with it. You could also put in this piece instead. This is like the generic one. They like use this for like the power up. So they have like the generic and then I do have your machetes as well. I do really love this. I think this is super duper cute. Um, I just, I just love it. It's a guitar, but it's so tiny. It's about the same size as my uh, candy rod, so it's just the generic wand size, and it's, it's definitely meant for a kid. But I love it. It's cute. Moving on. Okay, so before we move on to like the largest selection of purchases I made, um, I just want to show you. A pattern that I bought. Um, hey Katsa was there so I got their bunny suit pattern and I'm not I'm not making a bunny suit for a cosplay but I do need a bodysuit that's similar to this like a leotard type for mommy um, so I bought this one this is something that I was already gonna buy online um, it was just more convenient to buy it there um, you don't have to pay shipping which is great <laughs> shipping is always a pain um, but it's a cute pattern. I've always wanted a cut sew pattern, um, so I'm really excited to have this one, and I definitely want to like do a video on it and see how well it fits and all that. But um, I was hoping I would pick like a pattern that I could actually like show you that isn't so form fitting and like sexy. <laughs> but I'm also not cosplaying a bunny girl. So. Well, all right, I can't find it, but. Um, they also gave me the ribbon to help support or in honor of their new pattern line which is memory lame um which is basically all about like 90s and early 2000s anime conventions and they're like keep cosplay weird and that's what the ribbon said and i got so excited for it. <laughs> i'm pretty sure i show it in the the vlogs but it's cute and i'm kind of sad that i only got it on sunday of the convention <laughs> but 
pay cut, so I was really good, and I'm glad I got a pattern. So the last thing that I want to show you, and I'm so thrilled by all of this, we'll start with the Retro Psycho thing. So I got Aikatsu Stars. Um, this is the Fantastic Ocean soundtrack. Uh, this has 11 songs. Uh, Six of them have lyrics, five of them do not. Actually, I didn't realize that there's one missing. Um, <clears throat> but this is the only Aikatsu Stars album that they had at the booth. They had Aikatsu, but it was just the first season and I've never seen it. I am a fake fan, I know. Um, so, but I did find this one on the last day and I did buy it. Um, it was probably a little overpriced. Like, I know retail, it was cheaper to buy it at their price, but I believe this is a used CD, um, cause it was already open and there was like kind of scratch marks on the, 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 the cover and stuff. So I believe it was bought used and then they were reselling it for basically a little under retail, um, which kind of rubs me in the wrong way, but that's fine. Um, but I'm, I'm glad I got it. I've already put this on my computer and I've already put it on my iPod. But on the note of Aikatsu, this is Aikatsu-Con. Uh, Katsu-Con is perfect for Aikatsu. I also found a booth which had these three, all right? They're all from Aikatsu friends. Um, they had these three. They also had a little panda bear type thing, and I didn't literally like that. I really like this. This stood out to me, okay? This was like the thing that I was like, oh, that looks really magical girlish, and I thought it was really cute, and then I looked at the tag, and I'm like, that's that's the logo for Aikatsu. That's Aikatsu Friends, exactly. And then I continued digging, and I found Karen, and I found Aine. Neither one of these are my best girl from Friends, and I don't particularly like either of them, but it's Aikatsu merch found in a US convention so I bought them and I asked how much they were and the guy was like they're 15 each but if you get three of them I'll make them 10 each so I was like okay let me get them and I debated about it I was like do I really need them and then I was like no I don't but when am I gonna find Aikatsu merch again so I got them these are the three, and this is, I guess this is like from one of their auras, but I don't know what aura it is. I'm assuming it's probably like Karen's. Um, and, and then Aine is in one of her little pure palette cords. And, oh, she has a little bow on top too. And then Karen is in her diamond friends cord. So, th I think, I think these two are like the ugliest things in the world, and I love them. <laughs> I just want to be clear, I think they're ugly, and I love them. But the last two things that I bought um, were these stickers. These are from the original Aikatsu. I do know that her name is Sumide. I don't know her name, um, but uh, I just picked the two. They had four. They had four different types. Um, none of the girls I knew who they were. They were all from the original Aikatsu, but I was just like, okay, I know this is the rock girl, and I know this is a goth girl, so these are my brands, so I got them. Um, I believe they come with a card. They might just come with one card. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. These are stickers, and I, I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I bought them. They were like two bucks each, so. I did go to the Aikatsu meet at KatsuCon, um, and the person, um, Addie, her name's Addie, or the Lolita Princess, uh, she is part of a group called First Star Idols, and they were hosting an Aikatsu meet, and she made cookies for everyone, and then she basically took out uh, cards, and she put cards in there. Now, these have no use for us in the Western fandom, um, as we don't have an Aikatsu game to play, uh, but they're just really cute, and they're kind of holographic. I think her name is Aoi. Um, which makes sense, she's the blue one, but she is like a cool rock type. And then we've got the pink haired girl again, which I also know is a rock type, so I'm glad that I got those two. Um, the only one that I know 
in the original Aikatsu that I'm going to love is uh, Yurika because she is a Chinibio and I love her. All right, so here is everything that I bought at KatsuCon with the exception of Mokuna who is too big to fit over here. I did spend an absurd amount of money. I literally spent all of my cash and then I bought stuff on my card, which I know better and I should not do, but uh, again, the pattern was one of the things that I was already gonna buy with my card, so and then I bought like a shirt and I bought the CD with my card. So these were these were small things that I would already purchase with my own card. So um, but I love everything. Everything is very on brand for me. And I can't wait to send these items to M. Um, I've already showed her that I bought them. And I was just like, I hope you like them. And she got real excited. So uh, I can't wait to send them to her finally. And then everything else is mine. <laughs> because I love buying things. Alright, so with that, I will see you guys in the Katsu Vlogs, which are coming up next week.